Hello, this is Eric with Bain Group, and today we're going to look at Outlook contact groups. Here are some of the topics we're going to cover today. What is a contact group? When would I need to create a contact group? And how to create a contact group? Let's start with what is a contact group? A contact group is what was previously known as a distribution list. And a contact group is a group of users that are typically part of a project, a team, a committee, or even just a group of friends. The benefit of a contact group is that you can add members to a contact group and save their email addresses as a group. So next time you're emailing your group of friends, you don't have to type out each email address. Outlook will remember members of your group and will automatically add every email address that is listed in the group. You should create a contact group whenever you find yourself emailing the same group of people repeatedly or constantly. Now that you know the benefits of a contact group, let's begin on how to create a contact group. So let's jump into Outlook. We're here in Outlook. In order to create a new contact group, we have to go on the left navigation panel down to the people panel down here. So at the very top, we have two buttons. We have a new group and a new contact group. These are actually these actually provide very different functionality. So today we're going to cover the new contact group. I will make a feature video where we talk about the new group and its features. But today we're going to focus on the new contact group. So in order to create a new one, all you have to do is just click this button. And here you're going to name your group, whatever you like to name it. For this example, I'm going to name my social media team since we've been working a lot together. Okay, and then if, we, if you want to add members to your group, all you have to do is click the Add Members button up here, and it'll give you options. So you can add members from your personal Outlook contacts. You can add members from the global address list, or you can even create brand new contacts that aren't listed anywhere. Um, my contacts are already existing, so I'm going to go into the global address list. And that is the from address book option. Okay, so I want to add Adele Vance. And in order to add members, all you have to do is just double click their name. Um, if the person you are looking for is not here, you can scroll down and look for them or you can type it type out their name. There we go. And again, in order to add more users, you can double click and you can confirm your users by looking down here where it says members. You can see that their names will be separated by a semicolon. Okay, so let's keep adding more users. Alex and Christy. Okay, so this is my social media team right here. Once you're done adding members, all you have to do is click OK. And now we'll be on this screen where it shows us our team name and our members and their email addresses. Okay, cool. So all you have to do to save your settings is click save and close. And now you'll see that we will see a social media team option here. So let's try this out. What does this look like, right? I'm going to go back to my email panel. I'm going to create a new email. So I want to sell my I want to send my social media team a mess, an email message and I don't want to type out every address. So all I have to do now that I've created a new contact group is type in social media team. As you can see, that's one of my options now. All I have to do is press tab or click on the group. And if you'd like to see who's part of this group, all you have to do is hover over and click this pull down arrow. And I'll show you who's part of this group. And once you finish typing your email, it's going to send it to all those email addresses for you. And that's how to create a contact group. So today we've gone over on what is a contact group. When would you need to create a contact group and how to create a contact group? 
Thank you for checking out this video, and I hope you learned something new. Thank you.